How's going guys? So the Arknights collabing with Monster Hunter um collaboration where we're gonna get Kidin R Yato is gonna come to us really soon, right? And as tradition, I was like, okay, let's make a Shiju Pool video. But the problem is, see, if you guys remember the Rainbow Six Siege banner, which never came by again, so we can basically assume that even if we're going to get another rerun of this banner, like down the road, no matter how many years, it's going to be a long time. So basically everyone knows that, well, you got to pull this banner, right? And I feel like many of us kind of knows like, oh, like heard of rumors, like, oh yeah, Yato is really strong, but how strong is she and why is she so strong? I feel like I can talk to you guys about that for a bit. And hence, I feel justified to tell myself to make this video. Or else I really was like, do I really need to make this video? I think everyone already knows. But 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 I convinced myself and I was like, okay, I should make this video just to explain to you guys, right? Like, um, what makes Yato so good and why should everyone just pull her? And obviously the answer of should you pull this banner is going to be yes. I don't think there's anyone having dealt with that. Now... Yato Alter. I know there's like kidding Yato, but um, like I she used to be kidding X Yato, now she's kidding R Yato. There was like change, I'm just not used to that, so I just call her y Yato Alter. Um, she is another quick redeploy. So, um, reminder that we just had a really good quick redeploy released like a few months ago called um Texas Alter. Yeah, it is currently a quick redeploy meta as of right now in the game and not gonna lie i i really like both of them and maybe you're one of those people who are like okay i already got texas altar why would i need another quick redeploy um they work completely differently and i would highly recommend you to grab both of them they are both super great now first of all let's take a look at yato's talents so her first talent is very simple right her first talent is when she attacks she will add additional 20% of her attack as arch damage. So just extra damage as arch damage. Fairly, simplis fairly simplistic. And her second talent is that during her skill dur duration and um, 10 seconds after her skill has ended, she would have plus 13% or plus 16% um, attack if you have pot five. But obviously I don't, so I wouldn't touch on that part. But it is... Fairly strong, I would say, like just very simplistic, but very good uh, talent in general. I don't think I need to add more to that. Oh, and I would highly recommend uh, module level three, that is. Now, the true reason why I would think everyone should pull Yato, her skills. So first of all, let's take a look at her first skill. Yato's first skill is that um, once deployed, um, it will last, it will activate immediately. It's a passive skill, it will last 20 seconds. During that 20 seconds, she would have plus 100% attack speed. Her attack becomes double hit. And every third hit that she deals to, um, every third attack that she deals to a target. So not do like double hit and then um, immediately, but it's like double hit, double hit, and then six hit. So it's double hit, double hit, six hit, double hit, double hit, six hit. Kind of like that pattern and since she does have plus 100 percent attack speed this is fairly fast and even though this doesn't really give any like increased attack so um you're basically dealing with 703 attack like you if you were like me with um level 3 module you actually get quite a bit of damage out of it if the enemy doesn't have too much uh defense so you know I don't really think you should M3 this, but I just M3 because I think I would someday use it, but I haven't really seen a day that I would actually use this skill yet. Now, skill two of Yato. I would say this is like kind of a game changer kind of a skill because I don't think there's currently anyone else that can replace this role of hers. So during, well, upon deployment, as you can see, skill two doesn't have any duration on anything. It's just upon deployment, her first talent is, in, is increased to 2.5% uh 2.5 times. So uh 20% arch damage, 20% of her attack as arch damage now becomes 50% of her attack as arch damage. 
now and her attack is increased to 150 percent sorry plus 50 percent and she will attack enemies on on her tile and in front of her all of them true aoe for a total of 16 times the thing about this skill is you cannot interrupt this skill. Sorry, um, if enemy has stun, so as in um, in IS-3, there's the hidden enemy, the, the crying thief. And um, usually when he like hits you, it will immediately stun your operator. Yeah, she can't get stunned. So if you have this skill, easily counters. This skill is not affected by attack speed. So you can't increase the attack speed of this 16 hit, 16 hit combo. But you also can't slow it. So um, I believe recently we've been doing a lot of, we've been seeing a lot of decreased attack speed enemies. I don't know if you guys know, like boss rush. Yeah, um, you won't have any decreased attacks. You will not be affected. It's just normal, like the same speed as always, 16 hits. And with level three module, we're looking at 28,000 attack uh, damage. Uh, there is physical and there's like 50% as arts. But like in total, that's a lot of damage for true AOE for how quick this skill does damage. So I would say this is one of those first skills that actually changes how you can counter the uh, counters the enemies like mechanic and whatnot. But this is not it because the next skill is probably even more OP in that sense. Well, I would say they're actually both equal. So I, if you really want to M3 her skills, it's both skill two and skill three. Now, Yato skill three. Upon deployment, she will immediately charge forward two tiles. And for every frame that she charges, she will attack enemy once and hit enemy for 300% of her attack. So that is 2, 000, over 2000 attack. And for every enemy she so, so for every every any uh every time she deals an attack, she will extend that charge by 0.3 tiles. And this can expand uh extend to up to five tiles. So think of this skill as a charging skill where if she hits an enemy within the first two tiles, she can keep charging, charging, charging until there is at the end of the fifth tile. So she can charge five tiles and this attack also hits a unit now the interesting thing about this skill is that this is a skill that can scale with the enemy's moving direction move enemy size and a lot of things so normally if you're just hitting a normal enemy right that is like two tiles in front of her she can probably hit them for like four or five times pretty good but if you hit a huge boss, like those bosses that take up so many, like a lot of tiles, four tiles, five tiles, she can hit them for up to 18 times. 18 times. And that's just, it's like less than a second because of how fast this, this skill is. So within less than a second, she's hitting the enemy for 18, 18 times. That makes her a great, like huge size boss killer and um enemies that are a tiny bit smaller like the big big sad lock i think takes 14 hits as well so it's also pretty good and also because she's charging right during this charging phase she's actually invincible and cannot be targeted by enemies so what that means is you can counter a lot of mechanics that will, um, let's say, explode on you if you deal enough damage to the enemies. She doesn't take any of that because she's invincible and she cannot be targeted during the duration of her charge. So just the, the amount of mechanics that you can bypass with this skill is just insane. And did I mention that she also has, um, she, she can also attack air units with this skill. So in general, like, this skill is just so good when it comes to huge area AOE and just bypassing mechanics and just also quickly deploy. There's just so many things packed into this skill, this operator with skill two and skill three. 
And that's why I would highly recommend everyone to at least M6. You don't have to M9 like I did, but M6, get yeah, definitely. Now, in what situations would I bring Yato then? So in my typical daily situations, um, so in my typical team, I would have my usual operators because I feel like at this moment, um, our operators can already do a lot of things, right? We have Monai, we just tank all the enemies and then let them down do all the job. We have good range operators like um, Golden Glow and Poseidon Cloud to deal with really ranged enemies. And so I usually just bring 10-ish operators that are for like other stuff, Vanguards, whatnot. And then I bring both my Texas altar and my Yato altar. <laughs> and those other operators, like the other 10 operators, just deals with the majority of the stuff, right? And then when there's like something happening, like there's some accident happening, I was just like, okay, I have two quick redeploys on my hand that can solve the majority of the problems. Either they can be stunned, Texas altar. Either there's a lot of enemies coming my way, Yato skill three. There's, there's just, those two just solves basically any problem that you would come, uh, that you would meet in like the next six months, basically. And then there's uh, I, IS3 and IS4. They're both really, like both of those operators are great for those IS, tip bait, like even preferably, I would want both of them as well in IS3 and IS4. Um, in IS3 right now, I would say that you can actually use her just like Yato, uh, Texas Altar in the first three floors, but in the later three, uh, later two floors, especially in um, Surging Wave 15, you might be lacking in a bit of damage that will depend on your um, stats and whatnot, but like she still does great amount of damage. So like, I would say she's equivalently as good as Texas Alter in IS3 and in IS4, I would say they're both equally as good as well. So having, having Yato Alter is like having two Texas Alter. You can think of it that way, like in terms of how impactful it is and just having the both of them double the greatness. So, um, I would think that is about all that we have to talk about. Obviously, I wouldn't use cricket deploys in um, SSS. So I don't really think that's going to be that important. And I hope you guys can see why um, in the previous videos where um, I recommend people not to pull chore by and save your pulls for Yata Alta and don't do what I did and go all in and make yourself broke. That's this is the reason Yato Alta is definitely worth it in my opinion and i hope everyone gets your yato altar in your first hand pool so please give me that pool as well good luck for you guys pool and i'll see you guys in the next one bye